For this tip, ideally you'll just mix up the mud that you want to use, but if you had excess mud left over, or even if not, whatever's left over, you want to scrape out and dump into a box before, and that way you limit how much uh, stuff goes down the drain. But here comes the tip. Okay, so when you're ready to rinse out your tray, your mud tray, and or clean your tools, what works really good, even if you don't use the texture method I showed you, what works really good, is a paintbrush to clean out your mud tray. Just makes it so much easier if you've wrestled with it. You know, before it's completely dry, you can just use your paintbrush. To clean out that mud tray. Just makes it so much easier rather than fighting with the thing. See? About the easiest way I found after many years of fighting with scraping it later. If you just mix up just what you're going to use, just barely any more, and then use your paintbrush, just makes it super easy to clean up. Uh, Jerry, that nice little drywall tip with you. If you've ever been doing drywall. One of a nice, easy way to clean up. Very simple. There it is. Nice way to keep your your tray nice and clean. Yep. Thanks for watching Kung Fu Maintenance. Trying to make life a little, a little bit easier for you guys. All right. Done deal. And if needed, you could actually use the same tip outside with an outside hose faucet or a five gallon bucket filled with water and then dump the water somewhere safe to do so. You gotta be ready for the Lord's return. The Lord is gonna come for his bride anytime. Uh, Jesus came to seek and to save those that were lost. That was me. We've all missed the mark. Every person sinned and come short of the glory of God. But Jesus took the punishment that we rightfully deserve on himself at the cross and he gives his righteousness to those that believe on him so if you haven't put your trust in him call out to him to save you it's a gift of salvation you can't earn it he did it all on the cross and he calls us to a loving relationship with him so you are invited to be reconciled to god something that was impossible god is holy and our sin separated but without god it was impossible but god came to save us. He sent his son Jesus. You know, again, he took all of our sin on the cross and uh, gave himself so that we could be justified in him. So call out to him, get into the Bible, into the word and start to grow so that you're protected from deception. There's strong delusions out there, strong deception. And Jesus is the way, the truth and the life is the only way to the Father. He's the only way to God. So don't don't get tripped up or tricked. And don't don't miss out on what is yours through Jesus. Now call out to him today. Don't wait. Time is short. He's gonna return for his people. And uh, if you missed it and you find yourself in the tribulation, call out to Jesus to save you. Uh, you likely die for your faith, but still like you have eternal life. The tribulation only last seven years so if you find yourself in part of it you know it's not going to be long before everything's finished anyway seven years is not a long time although in the tribulation it's going to seem like a long time but be faithful unto death that means trusting in jesus all the way um, there's probably not going to be a lot of food um, and it's going to be a difficult situation but i uh, you can, you can still have eternal life through Jesus because again he took all of our sin on himself at the cross so put your trust in him today so you don't miss out and uh, so that you have the covering is he is the lamb the lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world all right stay safe out there God bless God bless you mm -hmm.